So I'm going to tell you the story of my very first boyfriend ever. So I got my first boyfriend when I was 18 and um, I just moved to San Francisco. It was like 2012, July 2012. Yeah, so this is when I actually first started going to art school and I first went to art school. And, uh, you know, I'm in the city of San Francisco, getting to know everything as well. Um, I had an art class and it was a drawing, wait, was it anatomy? Oh no, observational drawing first. And then anatomy, um, anatomy and drawing class. Okay, so I had, yeah, this class and, you know, um, that was probably one of my favorite class in art school because everything, the atmosphere was beautiful, the teacher was super nice, everyone was super passionate and there was a lot of really cool people and you know uh, like really amazing artists as well um so there was like a specific group in our class um the class was a pretty big classroom and um i'm actually really shy and at the time i'm very shy okay and i didn't talk to anyone because i'm kind of from a suburban town and we just don't walk up and talk to people um but if I can remember, there was a group of people I hung out with all the time, and we always made sure that our, like, when we were um, drawing, because we were drawing on, like, easels, even though it was, like, charcoal drawing or whatever, we would basically draw uh, nude bodies, you know, like, the nude models would come in and we'd draw them. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah. So, during that time, um, there's this guy, and I'll call him Kel. Um, he was this, this Asian kid, and, like... He, had, you know, wore glasses and his hair, you know, he's just like a standard, you know, Asian dude, right? Um, but he was so dramatic, like I kid you not, we would, you know, I'd, I'd get to class sometimes early or whatever just to set up um, my workstation and then this guy would literally come into the classroom and be like, hello people of the world, I am here, like I kid you not, he would do that all the time and people were just like, what? Because again, this is the beginning of the school year, so we don't know each other. Okay, so we have this random dude coming in the classroom, and we're just like, we're gonna be, ha we're gonna have to deal with him for how many quarters, <laughs> you know, or for how many weeks long? But yeah, so I ignore him because I actually I don't like people who are show offs. Um, I don't like people who are the uh, uh, like the spot. They're in the spotlight, attention whores. I can't stand people like that. So I was just like, oh my god, this guy's so annoying. So, you know, throughout the the couple weeks or whatever, um, I kind of noticed that um, the group that I hung out with, you know, they started gravitating towards him too. So long story short, he basically became part of our group. Okay, and um, as we kept doing this, I kind of noticed that you know when I would draw he would kind of move closer to me or something or like you know because we the classroom was set up in a circle so you have the, mo the the model in the middle and then you have the classroom set up in a circle you know so you could choose wherever you wanted to um you know draw whatever so yeah I would choose that and so each day it will be different not everybody sat in the same place so I noticed some of the days you know I would sit in the corner and then he would move like each day he moved like a seat down from me until he sat next to me and eventually he just kept sitting next to me and that was like his permanent spot I guess but anyway yeah so um yeah so during the time you know we're drawing or whatever I really loved his work like he was really good at um um capturing uh the like the movement of the model um and like i just like to style so I, you know i tried to learn from him and stuff like that and so we talked a bit um even though he was just really strange <laughs> but uh yeah so we talked a bit or whatever and then after class we go get donuts and stuff like that and he took the muni home um and so yeah that that you know it's been like that for a few weeks so we started talking and stuff like that and i started asking him about how he draws and you know um if he has any advice or whatever because he was really good at shading and shadow like his shading and shadow work was just on point even the teacher was like oh my god this is great and lighting and shadow has always been my weakness um so i you know i guess at the time i just couldn't understand it um so it, you know i struggled with that so he did help me out with that um but yeah so he started getting closer like that and then like one time i remember um when I was drawing and he was 
like, oh, what are you drawing? Oh, are you drawing the foot? You know, and so he like took my hand and he started like drawing the foot or whatever. So our hands overlap. So I had like a shoujo moment. I was like, oh my God, he's touching my hand. I've never had a boy touch my hand before. Seriously, like um, in high school, I didn't have any boyfriends. I wasn't allowed to have boyfriends. My mom were just like, guys, fuck no. And straight guys, fuck no. Like, the only guy that was allowed in my house was my gay guy friend, Caesar, and that's it. Like, she didn't allow any boys, okay? So, I had no experience. <laughs> and I was a huge shoujo manga reader, and so I only could imagine, you know, these, like, little moments and touch on the shoulder, you know, and looking in your eyes and all that, that fairy tale romance. Anyway, moving on. Um, so yeah, that happened, and he's like, oh no, you should do this and do this, and I was like, oh my god, <laughs> he's touching my hand. Okay, so then, uh, that same day, I was gonna go home, and for some reason, he started following me, um, cause I, t I uh, at the time, I took the bus, right, and he, he took the muni, but I guess he had a lot of free time on his hand, and he was just like, oh, I'm gonna go with you, and I was like, huh? What do you mean? He's like, oh! I'm, I'm gonna go with you home and I was like uh why he's like cuz later I want us to go get some pho and I was like oh okay so you want me to go home and drop off my stuff and he's like yeah 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 and I was like okay cool so basically um instead of taking the bus actually uh I just we just walked we just walked this was like maybe like 30 minutes or something uh in the city it was like the downtown all the way till all the way to the Fillmore so that was about, yeah, about 25 minutes. So we just walked the whole way and we just talked or whatever. And yeah, everything was fine. Um, it's really foggy to, uh, how do I remember when, uh, he was really strange because he wasn't the type to just ask like, can I be your, can I be your boyfriend or whatever? You know how like in the manga, that's how they, that's how they, that's how they uh, confess. And that's the only reference I had because I had no prior, you know, experience with, guys at all um but I do remember we were texting a lot and then one weekend he said I should he's gonna show me his area so he lived in Ingleside uh oh no Ingleside by Balboa Park um in San Francisco and from my place it was about um 30 minutes and I just had to take the muni but I didn't know what muni to take so he would guide me you know talking on the phone and through text or whatever so eventually I arrived there and I remember, I guess you would call this our first date. We went to Balboa Park and again, it was another shoujo moment where it was a beautiful day. It was sunny and we're in the grass, you know, laying in the grass and stuff. And then uh, looking up at the clouds and I think he said some cliche shit. I don't remember. But, you know, we kissed and it was cool. Um, that was like one of my first kiss. And he actually told me that my the he actually told me uh, a few days later that the way I kissed was weird like he basically said I was, I was a bad kisser and I was like no shit I have no experience I don't know how to kiss so I actually went on uh, the internet and <laughs> I actually oh my god it's so embarrassing yeah so I went on the internet and I was just like how do you kiss and I was trying to look at pictures and there are YouTube videos and I was just trying to get better at kissing basically right because he told me I fucking suck. He was just like, you're a horrible kisser. And that's not how you kiss. And blah, 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 all this stuff. Okay. All right. So, you know, as we're getting to know each other, I'm starting to see his really annoying sides. Okay. So when we get closer and I start arriving at his house and I start meeting his friends and his friends are like, oh my God, who is this black chick? What the fuck? <laughs> but not in a bad way. Just like, they were really surprised that I guess he was able to land me because that's what one of his friends said um we'll call him v and he was just really shocked okay so i would always go to kel's house maybe like a lot like four times a week okay we were just really close super fast and i i was kind of attached to him because he was the first person to show me around san francisco i didn't know anything so he taught me a whole bunch of stuff and i i you know, I saw how to use uh, the train systems. I knew what stores to go to. You know, just a whole bunch of, you know, areas to go to. What what places to avoid eating. You know, just a whole bunch of stuff about the city. So, I, I didn't have anyone else. I didn't have friends at the time. You know, I um, I didn't know anybody. So, he was literally my first friend. Um, 
and so that's why I was so attached to him but I do remember when I was meeting his friend V um he was uh also a nerdy Asian kid as well um and he was just like why are you with him and I was like huh wait what do you mean like (laughs) he was just like no 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 not to be rude but like why are you with him he's he's crazy and I was like wait what do you what do you mean and in my head I was just like why is his best friend telling me that this guy is crazy or like why is he why is he questioning why I'm with him um you know at the time red flags didn't pop into my head because again I have no fucking experience so that shit went out the window but yeah he was just like no 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 you're like he he normally never brings anyone home like so I'm really surprised that you're even here right now and I was just like oh well I don't know maybe we have a connection or something I don't really know and at this time we didn't really establish that we were boyfriend and girlfriend okay I'll get to that later as well so yeah so that was V and then another friend um oh also mind you too Kel he was a social butterfly so he would he had this really big room and all his friends would always come over so when I was over he would just invite people over and it was just a whole bunch of just a whole bunch of random Asian dudes okay and they're all seeing me for the first time and they're fucking shocked (laughs) and I'm like a deer in headlights like hey guys I'm Dinah, nice to meet you. And so that happened. Um, So then a couple weeks later, when I was starting to get closer to his friend, I guess he was getting jealous or something, because, like, me and his friends were, like, we were fucking getting along well. Like, they loved me, basically. And uh, um, one time when he went out to buy them something, because his parents owned a restaurant, so he would always get his free food, you know, he'd leave us or whatever. And then they'd be like, they'd be like, so how did... So how did, why, how, why are you attracted to him? Like, so what attracted you to him? That was like the main question. And I was just like, why do you guys keep saying this? They're like, cause he's a dick, dude. He's a fucking asshole. Like, and I was like, why? I don't understand. He's like, you'll see, you'll see. He's really weird. And the only reason we come to his house is to use this internet. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Wait, what, what, what? H- how long have you known him? Oh, since middle school. We went to middle school together. Okay. And then what about you? Oh, oh, yeah, I also knew him in middle school. And what about you? Oh, oh, like a sophomore year in high school. Okay, so you guys are almost technically uh, childhood friends, yeah? Yeah. And you guys talk shit about him? Yeah, why would you not? He's a fucking asshole. <laughs> Just like, oh my god. Wow, okay. Um, uh, have you told them told him like he's an asshole behind his back and they're like no why would we we just we just come here to use this fucking internet and leave and i'm just like oh my god oh my he just kel does not know that his friends hate him and they don't give a shit about him and i was like debating if i should say something or not but i don't like to stir up drama you know to me it was just like i guess a warning but i didn't really feel the need to tell him um so i just didn't tell him and i just kept it you know to myself and i was just like huh okay well that's weird technically that was red flag number two okay um and so when we were together maybe about two months or something like that and again we still never established that we were boyfriend and girlfriend um one time he said like oh we should experiment being a couple and i was just like huh experiment he's like yeah this is an experiment and i'm like oh so us being together is an experiment yeah and i was like oh okay i guess that sounds fun so yeah Uh, technically we we didn't say hey let's be together boyfriend girlfriend we just say this is a fucking experiment and that's it so yeah uh so after that um when i started to get to know him more and i met his parents and stuff like that was also awkward that's another story time but he was very rude to his parents and he was rude to his friends so first time i'm meeting them everything is fine and dandy but the more you get into someone's lair the more they start to show themselves so he would just say really evil shit and he just like would like uh talk down to them and just be really condescending and i was very confused because i was like i never say this stuff with my friends i never tear my friends down like i never do why are you why are you being such a dick and then their friend the friend you know what the friends um their words started popping into my head and i was just like um so this is what they meant you 
are a fucking asshole. Okay, so example would be like one of his friends would basically go out and buy some juice or whatever, right? For the group. And he'd be playing games all the time. That's all he did. He played games and that's that's it. Um, so yeah, so his friend would come back and he'd be like, dude, why'd you get the fucking grape soda? Oh my god, you're such a fucking idiot. I told you to get Sprite. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm just like, uh, does it matter? It's just soda. And his friend's like, yeah, dude, it's just soda. Just drink it. No, you fucking dumbass idiot. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, <sighs> wow. Not only is this immature, this is just straight up rude. And I would always question and I'd be like, how come you guys allow him to talk down to you? And they're just like, whatever. He's been doing this all his life. He's fucking spoiled. Whatever. We don't care. And I'm like, no, no, no. You should care, though. Like, he's being an asshole to you guys. So they basically shrugged it off. This is just how this guy was, okay? And I didn't like it. So I confronted him and he was just like, oh, no, you don't get it. We're just playing around. I'm like, that's not playing around. You're really fucking mean to them. Like, you need to apologize. And he's like, I'm not going to apologize. I do it all the time. And I'm like, you talk that way to your mom, too. And your dad. Like, that's a fucking issue, dude. You need to apologize. He's like, I'm not gonna apologize. It's fine. You're just freaking out for nothing. All this stuff. Blah, blah, blah. So yeah, I started seeing more of his negative sides. And also, he was really big on criticism. I understand construct- constructive criticism. But he was the type to... Cu- he Okay, this is what he did. For example, this is a conversation. Oh my god, that is absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculous? Why did you use that word? Huh? Why did you use that word? Do you even know what that word means? What? Ridiculous? Yeah, why did you use that? Do you know what that means? Uh, something is crazy, stupid. No, that's not what it means. Yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. Look it up. And I look it up and it's like crazy, stupid. Look, it's it, no, you're not using it right. You shouldn't say something's ridiculous. Look, and then he'd go into a history of how to use the fucking word. And I'm just like, nigga, what? Like, what? are you serious so every time i would say something he would correct me and go into the history about you don't know this word and this is where it came from and i'm just like what the fuck this happened for about three months and i got a headache like i literally had a migraine talking to him and it got so bad that he made me question my own sanity he started making me question like am i actually this fucking dumb you know like he was such a narcissist like it was really bad like I would just I would question myself and so like you know my group at school I would ask them like am I crazy and I would tell him some stuff that we were talking about and show them my opinion and they'd be like oh that makes sense and I'm like you think that makes sense because Kel doesn't think it makes sense he said this and he said that and they're just like the fuck is wrong with that dude and I'm like I don't know so I'm not crazy right and they're like no 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 you're fine and I'm like okay (sighs) thank god so yeah he made me he made me crazy i could not stand him he he became really unemotional he was just addicted to his game uh his games all the time uh he was just condescending to his friends like he was just so fucking spoiled and just sheltered his parents did everything for him it was just whatever so how we broke up is we broke up through text on new year's or something um Cause I went back to Fresno for the holidays, you know, and yeah, we broke up and he's just like, I'm not feeling it anymore. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not feeling it anymore either. We should just break up. Okay. Okay. Then when I got back to SF, you know, uh, I met him in person to, you know, talk about it. And then he's like, yeah, so we're broken up. And I think I cried a bit because again, this is my first boyfriend, right? And he didn't shed one fucking tear. And I was just like, in my head, I'm like, this, this bitch is a fucking reptile. Or he just didn't care about, he never cared about me to begin with. And then again, his friend's words ringed into my head. And then what he said in the beginning, oh, this is just an experiment. So I was just like, this was the oddest relationship I've ever experienced in my life. I don't even think he cared. He said it's an experiment. So he doesn't care about my feelings or anyone's feelings at all. So yeah. Uh, so that's pretty much the story of my, um, first boyfriend, and since we were in the same art school, I saw him in many, many, many classes, and as much as I tried to ignore him, he always came up to me like everything was dandy. Long story short, it took me three years to 
get him out of my fucking life because he would just pop up out of nowhere and I kept you know inviting him back in like an idiot thank god I learned my lesson (laughs) but yeah so that was my story with my first boyfriend and (sighs) when you see red flags people just run